Hi there, my name is Johnny at Man and Machine. In this video, I'm going to show you a real quick tip when you're working with point clouds uh, to help you better trace over them uh, or just have a better standard, I suppose, for tracing over them. Uh, so we're going to be looking at using view templates in this um, and also using uh, the orientate to view in 3D to, to quickly look at what we've actually created. So I've actually got some views set up here. So what I want to do at each of these views is I want to set up a slice of 100 millimeters between 700 and 800. So what I've done in here is I've actually created some view templates that are going to allow me to do that. So if I go down to my two view templates that I created, I've actually turned off all all of the settings bar the view range and I've set this view range to between 800 and 700 and then the cut plane in the middle. What this allows me then to do is if I'd like to apply that say to all my floors I can select these two and I actually don't need to um, set the view template in here I can apply the view template choose the cut plane that I want and what that's then going to do for each of these is it's going to actually take that cut at each of those levels at 700 between 700 and 800 mil. Now let's say I wanted to see this in 3D I can actually use these views now in 3D as well to see what I've sliced so this is a little known fact uh, that maybe some people don't use, but if you right click on the view cube in 3D, you can actually orientate to any of the views that you have. So if I click on my 700 and 800 on my first floor, it creates a cut and it will show me my slice between those two floors. This really helps me just understand maybe a little bit more detail exactly what I'm seeing on those floors. Um, but it just gives you a little bit more context about the project. And obviously then I have the same one set up for my 1500 to 1600. I can apply the view template, grab the other one I've created here, apply that and really quickly, I've then got those floors ready to go. And obviously this does mean that you need to have your level set up correctly. Otherwise those 700 millimeters aren't gonna be in the correct place. But once you have those set up, once you've got the view set up, it really increases the speed and also the consistency of which a team might be working to uh, different buildups in the wall. So you could set tolerances at those particular slices so that you're taking um, a, a sort of um, a justification uh, from each of those or an average of what you're seeing in those slices. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please do get in touch with us here at Man and Machine.